నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ క్యూబిడ్ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ సర్వీసెస్ వీ ఆర్ సాల్వింగ్ ద ఆన్సర్ అప్టేటివ్ టెస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫిజిక్స్ సెక్షన్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సాల్వ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ ఎలెవెన్ లెట్స్ రీడ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ఎలక్ట్రో స్టాటిక్స్ ద చార్జ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఇన్ సైడ్ అ స్ఫియర్ ఆఫ్ రేడియస్ క్యాపిటల్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఏ పాయింట్ బి ఇస్ గివెన్ బై వాల్యూమ్ చార్జ్ డెన్సిటీ రో ఈక్వల్ టు ఏఆర్ స్క్వేర్డ్ మైనస్ బిఆర్ క్యూబ్ where a and b are constants and r is the radial distance from the center of the sphere at what distance from the center of the sphere will the electric field go to zero so first of all let us draw a sphere let's draw a sphere okay suppose this is our sphere centered somewhere here and now see we have to now find out the distance from the center where the electric field will be zero so we have to now show another sphere so let us show it here let us show the sphere now okay fine so let us assume let us assume that the electric field at a distance x is zero okay and this this will be r given 2a upon b now if you if you realize the volume charge density rho is ar squared minus br cube okay it is given to us now the thing is okay there are two things here rather actually two things first thing is we have to solve this problem by gauss law okay we have to solve this problem by gauss law okay and for uh, application of gauss law we ne will need a closed surface isn't it we will need a closed surface so let us assume that this thin shell itself is our gaussian surface this thin shell itself is our gaussian surface of radius x correct second thing is that second thing is that the charges which are outside the gaussian surface they are not going to contribute anything to uh, as far as the electric flux is concerned okay associated with the gaussian surface now because the charge distribution is symmetric about the radius okay the charge distribution is symmetric about the radius okay and it is also uniform okay for given r okay so if we consider any other uh, sphere for that matter or the surface being equidistant at every point the the local volume charge density will be the same correct that is what i mean when i say symmetric about the radius and uniform for given r okay fine so using the two things that we have to use the gauss law and the fact that the there is there exists a radial symmetry about the volume charge density we can now say that charges outside charges outside the gaussian surface contribute uh nothing to electric flux phi e and therefore electric field e okay you see because of symmetry now let us uh, recall the statement of the gauss law the gauss law uh, tells that uh the surface integral of the electric flux okay is equal to uh net charge enclosed divided by what divided by the permittivity of the free space assuming that it is kept in vacuum okay this is our gauss law now as we have said that electric field and electric flux they both will become zero what we have to do now is we have to just find the net charge enclosed by our gaussian surface s okay net charge enclosed by the gaussian surface s that is the red color correct okay so how are we going to do that okay for electric field to be a null vector lhs must be equal to zero therefore rhs must be zero 
epsilon naught is a finite constant therefore q net enclosed should also be zero now how are we going to find the net charge q inside the sphere to do that let us use the formula definite integral of course now this is volume charge density okay so let us consider an elementary volume okay so it will be ar squared minus br cube dv where dv is our elementary volume okay <coughs> fine now how are we going to uh, develop an expression for this elementary volume uh, dv simple okay the volume of the sphere as we know it's 4 by 3 pi r cube okay so if we take dv it will be 4 by 3 pi into 3 r squared dr just imagine differentiating both sides with respect to some other variable t and don't write dt okay that is what uh, that is what we have got here okay so this dv now needs to be replaced by 4 pi by 3 3 r squared dr 3 3 will get cancelled 3 3 will get cancelled what remains is 4 pi r squared dr 4 pi r squared dr okay q net now 4 pi is a constant write it outside integral 0 to x a r squared minus br cubed into dv 4 pi have already been written so r squared dr r squared dr okay uh, 4 pi as it is into now pay attention this is a r squared and into r squared so that will be a r raised to 4 integrate it so that will be r raised to 5 upon 5 lower limit is 0 so there is no need to write it so it will be x raised to 5 upon 5 minus now similarly can i write this as x raised to 6 upon 6 yes because r cubed into r squared will be r raised to 5 when integrated it will give us r raised to 6 upon 6 just substitute the upper limit and this is zero we know that okay we intend to say it that way because electric field is zero flux must be zero therefore q net will be zero okay so what have we got now a x raised to 5 upon 5 is equal to b x raised to 6 upon 6 clearly x not equal to 0 correct yes so uh, i can say that this x raised to 6 gives me x so x will be 6 a upon 5 b 6 a upon 5 b is the answer 6 a upon 5 b is option a okay it was actually a simple problem uh, on Gosla, it might take it might take you a while to realize that you want to solve this problem using uh, Gauss law and exploit the symmetry of the problem. That is what uh, makes Gauss law application easier. Okay, if we have symmetry in our system, you can easily solve the problem. Again, I mean, they have also given us the volume charge density function in such a way that the integration is pretty straightforward. Okay, so that was eleventh. In our next video, we will be solving. Question number 12.